Hey, how you doing? It's Tom Brees here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about YouTube remarketing, why it's so important, and how to set it up. So, if you're using remarketing in your business right now, you'll know how powerful it can be. But if you're not 100% clear with what remarketing is, then listen up, because I'll give you a quick explanation of how it might work. So, let's say, for example, you were to visit a Amazon.com page for a particular product. But then, for whatever reason you don't decide to buy that product, I bet you for the next two or three weeks, you're going to be chased around the internet with different adverts trying to get you back to that original sales page. That's kind of remarketing in essence. Um, what you're doing is you're getting back in front of people that have kind of um, seen your offer beforehand. Another example might be that I went to the BA website recently to look for a flight to San Francisco. And what happened was that I didn't decide to buy there and then. I decided to check around the internet a little bit more and look at other offers, etc. Um, but lo and behold, when I went on places like the Times website or the BBC website, there were different banner ads and Google Display ads getting me back to the BA website. Now, of course, if you're very clever with your remarketing, you can set up different lists according to the type of activity that people are taking on your website. So it might be that they come to a particular sales page, they may have checked out various blogs, etc. Uh, blog post, sorry, but if you tag them specifically, you'll know how hot that lead might be. So say, for example, they land on your website and disappear two seconds later, they're not going to be um, as hot a lead as if someone comes to your website, looks at 10 pages, etc., and then decides not to buy. I bet you can get back in front of those people and still get them to convert. Now, the good thing is when you're advertising back to a remarketing list, it tends to be a lot cheaper. Um, and also, if you've been specific and you've, you've segmented your remarketing lists, you can really find that you can get back in front of only the very best people and get them to convert. Which means, basically, you'll get more conversions for every penny that you spend. So it's a very effective thing and I would recommend that you set it up for your website. However, um, you can actually use remarketing on your YouTube channel as well and your YouTube videos which really many people don't really realize that you can actually do. Now, there's a bit of a fiddly setup. It's not easy to kind of set it all up, but I have put some training videos together so you can go through those. It's very kind of instructional and it's kind of digestible so you can actually go through it with me and implement everything as I do it. Um, but the benefit really is that if someone watches one of your videos, likes one of your videos, subscribes to your channel, uh, shares a video of yours, even dislikes one of your videos, you can get back in front of those people and show them other ads in due course, which is really powerful because really, if you get back in front of those people with let's say a pre-roll ad or an in-stream ad, um, or on YouTube for example, you know that they've already seen and been exposed to your material before, but now you can show them a pre-roll ad that might last 20 seconds or so, um, and you can really engage with them, give them an offer that they haven't seen before, and as a result, you've got that good chance of getting them to click that link, go back to your website, and decide to buy your stuff. Now, the really good thing about it is that with pre-roll advertising, it's very cheap indeed, much cheaper than places like Google Pay Per Click. Um, but the great thing about pre-roll ads is that they don't cost you anything to show those ads unless someone decides to click or if someone watches past 30 seconds of your pre-roll ad. So, really, um, pre-roll ads are such an effective way of getting back in front of a remarketing list so say, for example, you've got um, some pay-per-click through Google text ads, for example, or through the Google Display Network, and you're showing image ads, you can find that you can collect that remarketing list if you think that's a very high-quality list you're, you're generating, but then you can get back in front of them for peanuts because you're showing them pre-roll ads when they come to YouTube, or if they watch videos um, on other embedded video YouTube videos on other sites, you can again get your videos um, showing in front of those videos so you can get your message in front of your remarketing list um, in future. So this is a really powerful strategy and depending on how you set it up, you can really just get back in front of the very hot leads. They're very cheap, as a result you make a lot more bang for your, you get a lot more bang for your buck, so to speak. So I honestly do recommend that you set up YouTube remarketing even if you're not going to use it because when it comes to a year's time you've still got those people in your remarketing list. You've got a huge list of people that you can get back in front of for quite cheap that have already been exposed to your stuff. So they're much more likely to take you up on an offer as long as you they've liked your stuff, they've, they've kind of watched your stuff and you know they've engaged with your material. So um I think YouTube remarketing is a very powerful strategy. We've used it with a lot of clients and got fantastic results. And the other thing about it is that you can use it for a variety of different businesses. This isn't just people that think that YouTube's the, like the perfect place to be or not the perfect place to be for their business. It's about getting in front of consumers that have already been exposed to your material. 
So another example of this, and this is where I think um, this is a perfect example of how an offline business can really benefit from pre-roll ads, is for example, um, you might have a remarketing list already through um, your advertising or for the fact that people come to your website already. But let's say, for example, you're a restaurant in London, okay? And if you're a restaurant in London, people might come to your website um, because they look around on the website to see if they want to book a table at your restaurant. Now, for whatever reason, if they leave your website and don't decide to book, you can remarket, uh, you can tag those or cookie those people and get back in touch with them with a pre-roll ad at a later date, a date that suits the restaurant owners or the, or the business owners' time um, in terms of ready for a particular launch or a particular event they might have coming up or just a special deal they might have coming up. So let's say, for example, they've got 10,000 people on a remarketing list and then in, on a specific date in June, let's say, they start um, kind of getting ads back in front of that remarketing list and saying, all right, I'm gonna show this pre-roll ad to those people for an event that I've got coming up um, in two weeks time, or whatever it might be. Which means that people, when they interact on YouTube, they say, oh, I've seen that restaurant before, I know that restaurant uh, from that kind of from the video that they're seeing at that, at that moment. And if you get that offer in front of them quick enough, then you're gonna find they watch that video and think, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll book a table then. It's that it could be just the thing that gets them across to say, all right, let's do it then. And it's kind of that impulse buy, so to speak, um, that can work very well for a restaurant. But the great thing is, if you show the telephone number in the ad um, of the pre-roll ad, you'll find that you may not actually have to spend any money at all because they might just pause that um, pre-roll ad, pick up the phone, call that number, and they haven't clicked the ad nor have they gone past 30 seconds. So um, you could really have free branding uh, through pre-roll ads, especially when you're doing it to a remarketing list. So you're probably thinking, okay, this is you're probably kind of your mind's going haywire on the types of strategies and techniques that you might put together to, um, to really harness the power of remarketing for your YouTube channel. And if you want to learn how to set it all up, I put, as I said, I put some training videos together. Look below this video, you'll see a link uh, that will take you back to um, our new website, thevideolab.com. Um, and it's going to take you to the particular blog, um, or to the, sorry, to the particular page where you can just uh, register for the free videos. And it's just three instructional videos that show you exactly how to set this all up um, in around about 20 minutes or so. So um, when you've got 20 minutes, go and do that um, and uh, set it all up because as soon as you start building your remarketing list, um, you'll have them there and you can keep them in there for a maximum of 540 days. So it's better to have a building a remarketing list from day one as opposed to wait for another 30 days when you could have had more people on your remarketing list. Anyway, I'm rambling now. <laughs> Hope you go and uh, look, look below, leave the um, kind of go and check out the videolab.com. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, obviously leave them below as well because I'd love to interact with you and I'll speak to you very soon. Cheers.